Hello and welcome to the heart of Atlanta at OTE Arena for another edition of Overtime Elite Basketball. We've got a great matchup tonight between the City Reapers and North Carolina's Blue Checks. I'm your man, Alex, Overtime Day, joined by my brother, the man, the myth, the legend, Overtime Tom. Thomas, how are we doing? I love when you call me the man, the myth, the legend. It's really awesome. Yeah, I'm hyped. Yeah, yeah. Blue Checks here in Atlanta for the first time. Very excited. City Reapers have looked outstanding so far early, early this year. A big reason why is Ja'Kai Howard, who's getting it done on both ends of the floor. Look, everyone talks about Ja'Kai Howard. I think he's the most athletic player in the country. Like, I, I don't think it's even a question. He's got the best dunks I've ever seen, of course. And he really is the person that leads this team with energy. Whenever he comes out in the first quarter and he's scoring baskets, getting to the rim, it's amazing. But honestly, a lot of it's been starting on the defensive end lately. If he can shut down the other team's best player, we'll see if he's matched up tonight with Rakeem's pass more. The Auburn commit kind of does it all, gets a block, gets a dunk. Very exciting player. We've seen the Ja'Kai posters. We saw so many last year, but on the defensive end, he's been pinning the ball to the backboard. These snatch blocks just showcasing his athleticism, really not just on offense, but on defense too. I haven't seen a poster yet this season, and I really need one. So, Ja'Kai, if you can give us something you know, a little special tonight. And he'll be facing off, Tom, against the guy you just mentioned, Rakeez yep. Passmore, the Kansas commit. If you've never seen him play, he's a bad man. Look, I got to see Rakeez all summer on the AAU circuit, and every single time you see him on the court, he makes something happen. It doesn't always look the prettiest, but he's always getting to the rim, getting a stop, hitting a shot. He's very, very talented, and early on, he's putting himself right in the middle of this MVP race alongside with Ja'Kai Howard, Carter Knox, all the best players at OTE. I'm excited that he's in Atlanta finally. It's going to be a great matchup between him and Ja'Kai. Rakeez, by the way, is fifth in the league. I know it's early early in the year. Fifth in the league in points per game and rebounds per game. So they're going to rely on him heavily tonight. Let's take a look at the comp between him and Ja'Kai, though. I, I really hope these two are going to match up. Obviously, you see the numbers here. Ja'Kai and the City Reapers giving the ball up a little bit more. So the points aren't as high. But I think both of them, like we said, are the leaders of their team. If one of them can have a great first quarter, I think that's going to have a big impact. The Kansas versus Auburn battle, I like hmm. that, too. There's a lot of star power in this game. And by the way, we did them dirty here with the the, the Instagram followers. Ja'Kai is crushing it. I mean, Ja'Kai has been the in the overtime vacuum for a year, the overtime follower funnel. So we'll give Rakeez a little bit more time. Uh, but right now, more importantly, we got to welcome in the third member of our broadcast booth, Mr. Sniper Jones, who was standing by for the Adidas showdown. Sniper, what's going on, my guy? All right, Sniper, we're having a little technical difficulties. Tom, I got to ask you first, who's your pick to win this game? Look, we haven't mentioned it just yet, but the City Reapers are actually down a few guys. They're missing Jaden Musoff, they're missing Efosa, they're missing Jalen Lewis. They're actually only going to have seven players tonight. Because of all that, and because the Blue Jacks have my guy, Rakeez Passmore, Jasim Felon, who's a Seton Hall commit, one of the best point guards in all of OTE. I'm rocking with the Blue Jacks in their first ever game in Atlanta at the OT arena. I'm going with the Blue Checks. Now, for all the reasons you just said, that's why I'm going with the City Reapers. That's insane. I think not having a deep bench will really galvanize them. These guys are going to get a lot of run today. And, you know, sometimes you get off to a slow start. Your coach pulls you out. Everyone who's played a sport knows how that goes. These guys are going to have a long leash, maybe too long of a leash tonight, and I think that'll do the City Reapers wonders. I think the Reapers continue their hot start. I think it's it, it makes it, you're making good points but they're bad points, okay? Because the Reapers are also coming off of a loss. They're number one in the power rankings, which we're going to get to in a little bit still, which makes absolutely no sense after losing to RWE last week. They had a great first weekend. They took down Jelly Fam. They took down the Cold Hearts. It was very surprising, honestly. Yes. No one was like that. Everyone was a little surprised by all of that. But uh, ultimately, I don't know if they're all of that. I, I like the blue checks here. It's going to be a great game. Let's take a look at the starters that we have for the blue checks starting off this game. We got Jasim Felton, number zero. We got Abrima J uh, Jabi, El Haji Diallo, Jay uh, uh, Jayan Walker, AKA Jaywalk, and the aforementioned Rakees Passmore, Kansas commit. A lot of shooting out here. A lot of people are saying Walker's maybe the best shooter on, on, this, on the blue checks. On the other side for the City Reapers. We got Jahari Miller, number 11. Big Job Jackson, number 34. Number 10, the high-flying Ja'Kai Howard. 
Number 15, Bryson Tiller. And number one, Amari Evans. Now we are going to throw it down to our guy, Sniper Jones, for the Adidas face-off. Snipe, what's going on? Yes, sir. I got two of the guys from the main event. Jakai, you've been coming in going crazy on offense and defense with a lot more leadership this year. What's been going into the mindset? Uh, you know, just uh, trying to build my leader standpoint. You know, being a leader is a big thing in the next in the next level. So that's all I'm trying to do. You know, defensively, you know, offense not going to get you that as much nowadays. There's so much offensive players. So I'm just trying to lock in on my defense end. It's a fact. You've been doing well. Rakish, you coming in top five in scoring, but you're going up against number one in the power rankings, right? What are you planning to bring to this game to make sure that you can get buckets on this level? Hopefully my best game. You know, it's a good team. So it's my team is going to try to bring it the best team we got. All right. Good luck to both of y'all, man. Without further ado, we got blue checks. We got City Reapers. Let's do it. Thank you, Sniper. And real quick, Sniper, who do you have winning this game? Hey, man, don't put me on the spot like that, man. Uh, if I had to choose, I'm going City Reapers. Man. There we go. What? There we go. And, you know, I used to live in North Carolina, too, so I feel kind of bad that I'm picking City Reapers over, over the North Carolina-based blue checks, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, 20 minutes ago, Sniper was telling me, yeah, man, blue checks for sure, blue checks. Did something happen in that face-off that you weren't expecting? Yeah, I looked Ja'Kai in the eyes, man. He had, he had a different type of look in his eyes. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Walker off the mark to start. So we didn't talk a ton about Jasim Bell, the point guard for, for the blue checks, number zero. He's a Seam Hall commit, and... He's had a couple good games this year, but no, like, 20 points, 25 points. I, I think this might be the game where he kind of explodes. He's matched up against a freshman in Jamar and Jahari Miller. So look for number zero, Jasim Felton, for sure out here. Tom, you're right. He hasn't been putting the ball in the bucket as much as we thought, but Doing he, is, he is first in the league in assist, point game, in assist per game, seven and a half. I'm a genius. And Tom's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> the boy genius, one. Genius, I don't know about genius. All right? I don't know about genius. That's a straight. I watched this man score 37 in an AU game this past summer against one of the best players in the country. Uh, he can fill it up, and I, I think tonight's going to be the night. And I like that he's going to be playing up in New York City, where we live, too. We'll be able to watch him after he's done at OTE at Seton Hall. Taylor, early three for Bryson Taylor. Now, the City Reapers, they've kind of done it differently every single game. Bryson Tiller had a game where he had 14 and 10, was player of the game. They've had games where Ja'Kai goes off. They've had a game where Parker Robinson and uh, Namari Evans do really well. So you never know really who's going to be the leading scorer for the City Reapers. Felton. Oh, that awesome. Yeah, that, it's like he heard you, Tom. That would have been awesome. That's Amari Evans bringing it up the court right now. So Tom mentioned only seven healthy guys for the City Reapers. Evans puts on the floor, rejected. So if they win this game with only seven people, is that that's got to be impressive. It's a lot of run. It's a lot of run. Now, Tom, the blue checks are one of the new additions we have at OTE this year. Very exciting. Tell me about their new introduction into the league and what you've seen from them. Yeah, look, they, they're one of the best teams out here. They have a lot of talent. Obviously, it's led by, here we go, Rakees and Passmore going to the rim a little bit. You're, they're led by Rakees and Jasim, two seniors who are both high, high, high major Division I players. But they have a lot of other guys. Jayon Walker, he, he's had huge games. Paul Jones, who we'll see in a little bit, he had seven threes the other day. Chandler Watts. Yep. So they have a ton of, they have some good size, they have good coaching. Um, their coach is very animated yes. on the sideline, uh, which we love to see. So it's interesting. And you're seeing here Ja'Kai's matchup on Jasim. I thought he'd be matched up on Rakeem, so this is kind of... Corner, off the mark. Chat, we didn't forget about you. What's going on? Hey, if you think the Reapers are gonna win, put a one in the chat. If you think the Blue Checks are gonna win, put a two in the chat. And if you're just happy to be here, throw a like in the chat, and then everyone is required to do that, right, Tom? Of course, and shout out to our guy, Overtime Sam. It is his birthday, and he, he I don't know if he's running the chat tonight, but he's heavily involved, as always. So shout out to Overtime Sam. Everyone also throw a happy birthday Sam in the chat, as we always like to do as well. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of jealous of the City Reapers, man. Why is that? If I was playing, I could shoot whatever. It's only two people. You can't Take me out, me coach. Out, coach. <laughs> you can't <laughs> sell me out. A long leash like for home. the City Reapers tonight. It's been kind of a common theme in games this year. The team starts slow. Ja, rejected. Abrima Jabi, seven foot senior. Just an elite rim protector. Let's take another look at this block here on Big Ja. Wait, great nickname for this guy, right? Is big he, foot. Yeah, he's Big Foot. Love it. Love that. I wonder how big his. I have a feeling Ja's feet are bigger. 
You know, it's pretty awesome that we get to watch a matchup of two seven-footers in this game. You don't see that that often in, in this level of basketball. No, I stay away from seven-footers. Make me feel too short. Yeah, we're, we're the 5'10 squad over here. <laughs> I'm 5'11 on a good day. Hey. Yeah, that, that, that's, what your, that's what your hinge profile says. Man. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you got Big John at the line here. Obviously a fan favorite. This is his third year at OTE from San Diego. A lot of people know him from playing with the Blue Chips back in the day with Brownie James. Yep. This guy has totally transformed his body and his game. You're seeing him here. He just hit his first free throw, bangs the second one. He's used to just be a dunker. Now he can kind of do a little bit of everything. The footwork is impressive. You can't help but notice it immediately how quick he's moving in the paint. And just the transformation he's made has been unbelievable. He's also, like a completely different guy. Totally different player. And also, great defense. Oh, by him. Getting the loose ball. And that's Amari Evans bringing it up the court. Kicks, Jakai, off the mark. So that, that ooh, good. look at that hustle by Amari. Amari. That's me, Red Ball. Amari's the do-it-all guy. Like, always hustling, straight out of Pittsburgh. You're going to hear about him a little bit later. He grew up playing football. Like, he's the guy that, like, he's going to be on the floor. He's going to rough you up. The refs told us they're going to let him play today. I don't know if they're going to want to let Amari play because he's going <laughs> to crush someone then. Amari, 6'5", 205. For Z? Oh, he's been working on it though. It looked good. When, when he played up in New York a few weeks ago, he had three in a row. Big jobs on 2K. What, what overall is the three point? Um, what are you? What would you be, Snipe? Oh man, the big lefty. 87. Yeah, 87. Yeah, so he's an 88. That's crazy. <laughs> That's out of hand. Oh, one of my favorite players checking in right now, Rivers Knight. Challenging for one of the best best names in all of OT. I, I I would say I would say that's the best name. Rivers Knight. Are you I'm not serious? gonna lie. He looked exactly like Laurie Marketing. I've never seen <laughs> someone look more like Laurie Marketing oh. in my entire life. And we gotta travel. City Reapers going the other way. He looks like a Rivers Knight. You know, he just has a Rivers vibe. In the corner, too long. All the foul, right? <laughs> that was Jahari Miller. For three, in and out. Bryson Tiller up the court. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, Bandit slam. Ja'Kai Howard oh. on the board for the City Reapers. Oh, oh. And gets the roll. We got quite a pace in this game here, Tom. Going up and down a little bit. You want to see? I think this is how we're going to get some more points here. So I love that. And Ja'Kai, all he needs is a dunk to get going. Yep. Right? Catches a dunk. Now everything starts to come together. He's going to rebound, play defense, all of that. And they have no no answers for John in the middle there. Let's take a look at the Ja'Kai dunk. Yeah, he could jump from wherever, and it feels like he's getting to the rim. Everyone says Vince Carter vibes, and I like, I see it. He just is so effortless. So I talked to Ja'Kai, and I said, everybody compares you to Gerald Green. He told me he hates the comparison and considers himself more of a Zach Levine. What do y'all think yeah. about that? I think that's better. I don't think Gerald Green could do all the things Ja'Kai can do, and Ja'Kai has more fingers. <laughs> <laughs> that's out of pocket. Evans, too oh. short. I like the Zach Levine comparison. Yeah, I like, I like that. I like it, too. Felton throws it up. Ooh, ooh. Oh, pretty finish. That's Chandler Watts with that athletic adjustment in the air. Chandler Watts, a 6'5 guard from Princeton. That behind that back was crazy. Hype Jackson rejected again. Hype Jackson is checking into the game a couple, couple buckets. Let's take a look at that finish from Watts. Uh oh, he in the air. Oh! Rakees Passmore. Levitate. I showed to take a business decision, like in the way of that one. I've never seen someone get more fast break dunks than Rakees Passmore. It feels like he's always the first one down the, down the floor. Ja'Kai might have something to say about that. <laughs> Taylor spins, kicks. That's Parker Robinson in the game now. The blue checks are going the other way. I talked to Parker Robinson. He said he's actually excited to show that he can do more oh. than just catch and shoot. So I'm oh. looking forward to him putting the ball down and creating some shots sometime this season. Yeah, it didn't work that last time, but I agree with you. Paul Jones <laughs> just hit a three, and like we said earlier, he hit seven threes last, a couple weeks ago um, to break the OTE three-point shooting record. So he just comes in and fires it up right away. He's averaging 16 a game as Belton takes a look. Off the mark, Ja'Kai soars for the rebound. 
now we've had maybe, what, two whistles in this first quarter. I think that really benefits Blue Check. I think that's because you were talking to the refs before the game. <laughs> I, I was wondering, hey, what kind of game are we going to have here? Are we going to have a physical game? Tightly called game, so they're gonna let him play. But when you only have se when you only have seven guys, when you only have seven guys, this kind of pace is not great. I agree with you. And hey, shout out to uh, wait, I had a big name here, King Thompson, live from South Africa in the chat. Wow, that's crazy. We just said that, Jakai. Jakai, look, top of the key action. Jakai oh, to five on the game. Nice finish there. That's Rakees Passmore. Hey, fellas, I got the best seats in the house right now. Where are you? Yeah, it's an amazing for you. basketball game we have tonight. Where are you sitting? Oh, you know, I'm around. You can sit. Oh. Pike Jackson with the three out of Baltimore coming off the bench. He is like your typical six man. Come in the game and score as many points as humanly possible. Lou Will vibes at all times. That's Lou a great vibe. I love that comparison. Lou Will for sure. Pass more off the mark. That's Ja'Kai bringing it up the court. And um, Ja'Kai's obviously committed to Auburn. Hype Jackson is about to take his visit to Auburn. So mm. maybe we get the City Reapers guys to stick together. Ja'Kai. Oh, the pump fakes. Goes up. Oh. Oh. I think he was trying to figure out what he wanted to do in the air. He had the time to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Off the mark. Pass He's more. always the first one down there. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, that's yeah. a great outlet there from Jones, too. That's, that's Sherry Pickett, man. Let's call it what it is, man. <laughs> Let's call it what it is. Hey, let's learn a little bit more about Amari Evans. We've seen him out here a lot in the first quarter of the City Reapers in this week's Bevel pregame cuts. Yo, what up? What up? My guy, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. All right, Mari, so where are you from? I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay, black and yellow, black and yellow. Mm-hmm. Hey. <laughs> Is basketball like your first sport? I never thought I was gonna play basketball. No? Nah, I play football. I play wide receiver. Do you feel like that helped you like transition on the court? Yeah, because I'm physical on the court. Okay, nice. You be in foul trouble a lot? I ain't gonna say a lot, <laughs> but I do be in foul trouble. What are your hobbies outside of basketball? I go to football games when I'm at home. Play 2K, definitely mad. And I just like to chill. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the NBA. That's dreams? Yeah. What I just used was the exfoliated pads, so just help regulate any blemishes, and you can also use that as a cleanser on a daily basis. 10 out of 10. There we go. There we go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Be easy. Thank you, Amari, for the Bevel game day cuts. And just a reminder, if you want to get tripped out like us in overtime gear, there's only one place to get it. Head to Shop on Overtime TV as Ja'Kai misses the putback, or scan the QR code on screen for all the latest collections. Tom, we got 15 seconds. Shot clock is turned off. Who's getting this last shot for the Blue Checks? Um, Paul Jones wants to shoot a three like always, but it's going to go to Chandler Watts. And a little short. Titles. Come on, Amari. Let's Three go, Amari. Seconds Come on, Amari. Left. One, two. Parker Robinson. <laughs> Tom. Oh. You waited a little too long. Oh, Amari didn't know there was, that the clock was going down. After one quarter, Blue Checks holding on to a two-point lead. Fast pace in this game. Entertaining first quarter. Don't go anywhere. It was like bop it, twist it, turn it. And then if you would mess up, it would make, make that little weird noise. GameStop. This is pre-GameStop? What is it, like a movie store? Um, Blockbuster? Nah, I've never been to one, but I've seen one before.
Now, Tom, one of the most exciting parts of the season has been the Strictly Power Rankings. Yep. Give me your thoughts on their latest week two power rankings. Look, Strictly B-Ball, one of the biggest TikTok accounts out there. They're known for their high school basketball knowledge. But here they are with their OTE rankings. City Reapers number one, we got RWE number two. This is where the drama starts, right at number two. Yep. RWE is one and two. They have the most losses. Well, some, one of the most, they don't have a good record, okay? And they're still ranked second. Um, the YNG Dreamers, who we're gonna see right after this game, uh, climbing up here with a 2-0 record um, at number three. Look, it's all over the place right now. I love the rankings. I think Strictly's doing an okay job. <laughs> I just want it to make sense, that's all. Amari off the mark. Yeah, people online are big mad about these rankings. But uh, it's really hard. I think Jelly Fam should be the most upset team. They, they, they keep, beat RWE. They keep winning games and sliding down. They have a big game tomorrow night against the Cold Hearts. Um, oh, River Knight. <laughs> River's Knight. Marketing. I love it. River's um, Knight. But I, I don't know. I, like, how does City Reapers stay at one after losing? Like, it's just really, it's a tricky thing. Tom, no, tell the truth, man. You got a lot of pool in these things. I do. Tom, Tom is the one who actually helps come up with these things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if any idea what you're talking about is Hype Jackson, Jackson with another bucket. <laughs> Now, Tom, City Reaper's missing a couple guys tonight. That's why they have a short bench. Ifosa, Jalen Lewis, Mustaf. Yeah. Talk about what they're missing with those three guys out. So I linked up with Coach Doug Meyer right before the game, and I said, who's your best player? And he said, I don't know who my best player is, but I'll tell you my most important player is. It's Jaden Mustaf. Um, so missing him, Jaden's like their point guard. He's their leader. He's got attitude, yeah, you know? He, he's always going to play well, whereas a lot of other guys can be a little up and down. Jaden doesn't have to score to play well. So I think missing him as their floor general, their leader, I think that really, really hurts. And then Ifosa and Jalen Lewis, they're just athletic guys who can get big buckets at any moment. Um, they're missing a lot tonight, honestly. Mustaf averaging almost 15 points a game, shooting close to 50% from the field. I mentioned it before, I just, I just like his toughness, his attitude. Feels like he's always a little angry on the court, which I love. Yeah, so Jaden Mustaf, I have to imagine he is so mad right now that he's not playing, because over the summer we watched him play, and he was down at uh, in South Carolina. He broke his nose uh, at a game at 8 a.m. His dad drove six hours back home, picked up a personally made mask, and then was playing the next morning at 8 a.m. with a mask on. So this isn't someone that wants this in. That's crazy. Sniper, that, that's what we call hockey tough. <laughs> yeah, he, I've, been, I've been trying to get, I've been trying to get Sniper into hockey. Us Northeast boys, you know. If I play hockey, man, I'd just be the boom. <laughs> um, Snipe, what do you think about right now? Blue Checks, they just came out second quarter in a zone. Well, I like I like it. You always got to switch it up, man. Don't let a team get too comfortable. You got to keep them guessing, you know what I'm saying? But this team can shoot, so yeah, in a zone is the best idea. Kyle can shoot it. Parker can shoot it. Amari can shoot it, so it might shoot him out the zone. You never know. I've been trying to look for Sniper, Tom. Do you, have I, you I found him. him. I found him. I found him. He's down there. Oh, there he is. He's down there in the corner. Now I got to relocate. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Wuchek's still up 20 to 15. It's interesting. They start the quarter without Felton and Passmore out, really trusting their bench a little bit. Rivers Knight, I love how quickly he is to shoot the ball. <laughs> Feels like any time he touches the ball, he's ready to shoot. Nice dish from Robinson. Look at that playmaking from Parker, man. I told you he put it on display tonight. Parker Robinson, the 6'4 guard in the class of 2026. And Snipe, I know how impressed you've been with Parker Robinson. He's done it all this year for the City Reapers. Nah, definitely. He's one of the best catch and shoot players in the entire league. More importantly, it's moments like this that's going to allow him to kind of step up, be a bigger piece on the team, and show what he's able to do from the lack of depth they have tonight. So I'm excited to see what he does. We knew he was a good shooter, but just all around game, he's looked very good this year. Sneaky hey, bounce as well. Be sure to keep it locked in immediately following this game to check out the leading score in OTE, Eli Ellis. His YNG Dreamers are looking to stay undefeated against Daquan Davis and RWE. Mm. I'm obviously pumped about this game right now. We're having so much fun. But that game right after this, that is a battle of two top teams and very competitive players. Um, 
I cannot wait. Dreamers vs. RWE coming up next on YouTube. You won't want to miss that one. I love the storyline of Eli Ellis, a guy that came in here last year. People was asking, can he even, does he deserve to be in the league? Now he's leading the league in points per game. You gotta love a story like that. Last year, he was Mr. Irrelevant, the last pick in the draft. And he is automatic from behind the arc. I'm excited to see him in our first live action getting to call his games this year. He's the Isaiah Thomas, OTE. Ooh. 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 That's token here. Ooh. Ooh. Which Isaiah? Which Isaiah? Ooh. 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 Which Isaiah? Oh, the, the last pick of the draft, Isaiah Thomas. The, yeah, yeah. Only as I, if you ask me, the only IT that matters, okay? Oh, wow. Man. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> I uh, want to give a shout out to Drifty J, who's in the chat. Our guy Drifty, I think it's the real Drifty J. I, I haven't been able to follow enough to know for sure. Um, we got to get more likes in here. We got a lot of people watching, not enough people like it. Do your part. Play your role. Parker Robinson from the corner, a little short. We we haven't made a three in a long time. Yeah. He's oh, always oh, out on the look, break. Look Pass more. Oh. Oh. I'm telling you, there's never been anyone to get more fast rate points than Rakeem's pass more. He wasn't cherry picking there. He just don't. Tom, I got an idea. It's crazy, but it just might work. Get back. Let's change the name from the blue checks to the leakers. <laughs> the leakers. Um, the blue checks name famously comes from a couple years ago when Mikey Williams and Rob Dillingham and a bunch of guys came and played for the Blue Checks. Let's check out Rakeese's dunk real quick. Then we'll check out the next break. Taylor. Oh, nice defensive play there by Ahaji Diallo. Jaywalk, kicks. Pass more. Oh, I had a chance. Look at the hustle. Walk. Look at the hustle. That's a lot of hustle. That's a nice touch there from Jay Walk. A 6-6 six, six guard from Raleigh. 15 points per game. We have very, a timeout. On very the funny court. guy. Super hilarious guy. The NC Leakers. The NC Leakers. Tom, let's take a look at this dunk here by Passmore. I don't, I, I can't explain it. There's not like some strategy here that I can tell you, but I, I can say he played on one of the best AAU teams in the country this past summer for uh, Thaddeus Young, who, who's an NBA oh, yeah. player. And it was him, Darion Reed, who's one of the top players in the country. They have this guy, LeBaron Filon, one of the best point guards in the country, and Jasper Johnson, who is the number one point guard in all of 2025. And every time Rakeese led the team in scoring, led the team in dunks, led the team in shots. He just like leaks out and scores a billion points. So I love his game. You know what's crazy? He only started hooping five years ago. And now he's committed to Kansas. That's crazy. That's crazy. BT. Kai. Amari. Parker. Parker, back screen for Amari. Go to the basket. Step out. All right. BT, screen for Jakai. Curl around. Look for that. If it's not there, BT's gonna step out. Hand off, get downhill. Everybody got that. Everybody got that. All right, let's go. Hey, we gotta defend and we gotta get 50 50 balls. I just said that. We gotta get 50 50 balls. He wrestled Josh to the ground with the ball and no one stepped in to get the ball. Let's go, man. You hear it, coach. Gotta play defense. Gotta get to the basket. Way too many contested threes. You got four shots, three contested threes, man. That's not you. That's not your game. Man. I mean, to be fair, I just looked. City Reapers are three for 15. Is that bad? Not, not the best we've ever seen. <laughs> the efficiency has not been there for the City Reapers. But I think also, you know, it's what Coach said on the defensive side. They got to win a lot of those 50 50 balls. That's Amari Evans, and he'll go to the line. I mean, that was awesome coaching. Amari would have shot that if Coach Martin did not just tell him, get to the rim. Get to the rim. Come on. We got this. Blue checks with a five point lead halfway through the second quarter. So if this is your first game, first game that you're watching OTE this year, we have eight minute quarters up until the fourth quarter. We've got 12, a 12 minute quarter. We decided, hey, everyone loves fourth quarter basketball. Let's get to the fourth quarter a little bit faster and then have a longer fourth quarter. I, I love it. I, I love, love it. it. I'm I a big it. fan. Hey, Snipe, what's going on down there? I got Coach Doug with me. Right now, y'all short-handed, so what's the game plan heading into a team like this? 
Uh, just keep playing the way we play. Play fast. Uh, try to get as many possessions as possible. Um, right now, we're just selling to way too many jump shots. You got to get the ball to the paint in the rim. Um, two feet in the paint and play and then spray the ball after that. But we just can't, we just can't come down and settle for a no, no pass threes, one pass threes. And that's what we're doing right now. Rocky's Pack Moore is coming to the game. Top five is going. I know you guys probably talked about him before the game. What's the thought process on slowing him down? Here? Yeah, just bodies at him and then just play. You know, just play. You're not, guys that good, you're not going to You're not going to stop them, but you got to, you know, you got to make the shots difficult for them. Hey, two. Three, three, three. All right, Coach, appreciate you, man. Have a good game. Thank you, Snipe. Thank you, Coach Martin. Uh, Coach Doug Martin told me an insane story. Like, the most insane story. Uh, like, we're just talking, casually catching up, seeing how his day's doing, asked about his wife. And then uh, I was like, so, Coach, by the way, who's the best player you ever coached? Like, just curious. Kevin Durant. I was like, uh -huh. what do you mean? He was like, yeah, I was Kevin Durant's coach when he was played 15 and you for a Blue Devils team out on the East Coast. The flex. That's crazy. And I was like, what? I was like, was he good then? He was like, he was on. I didn't ask how tall he was. But uh, so yeah, Coach uh, Doug Martin probably leading uh, for favorite coach in all of OT right now. That's a flex though. He flexed on you, Tom. He did. He did. He said it so casually. Yeah. yeah KD. Then he asked. Then I was like, "Well, who's the second best player?" And he said some guy I'd never heard of. And I was like, "Damn, <laughs> really, really fell." Well, that would have made me feel a little better. I'm like, okay, there you go. <laughs> so we talked about it earlier. We got Jasim Felton here at the line, related to the uh, the famous Raymond Felton, one of your favorite players of all time, I assume. Look, <laughs> as a Knicks fan, I've watched plenty of Raymond Felton through, throughout my years, and I actually interviewed him a couple years ago, and. Uh, you know, he was on that 2013 Knicks team that I loved, and uh, good Nick, good Nick. Really, uh, really solid Nick. I think Jasim is trying to prove his point here as one of the best point guards in all of OT. Obviously, it's a battle, but you got him, Eli Ellis, you got Daquan Davis, a lot of really, really tough guards. So I'm curious where he uh, where he ends up falling. I like to compare him to Dre Gibbs Lawhorn, who mm. is uh, my favorite point guard in OT. At Illinois now. Season, who now plays at Illinois, um, but a little bit different game. So we'll see what his uh, Atlanta experience is like. Jones slows it down. It's been clear though that the blue check strategy is to keep the pace up. And that has to be largely attributed to the fact that the City Reapers are missing a lot of their guys because the City Reapers normally play like that as well. Yes, that is usually what the City Reapers are known for. All the way dating back to last year, we had the Thompson Twins scoring a billion fast break points a game. This team has kind of emulated that in a lot of ways. But you see, uh, you see the blue checks, they're probably rotating in nine, 10 guys, playing a different, bunch of different defenses. And I think you can see the Reapers are really missing Jaden Mustaf out there on the offensive side. You know, they're, they're not getting the easy shots that they're, that they're accustomed to getting. Chandler Watts checks back in for the blue checks. Spins, goes up. Nice defense by Bryson Tiller. That's Parker Robinson on the floor. Dishes back to Tiller. Hey, first half action is coming to a close, but we got the OTE halftime show coming up next. Highlights, locker room access, and a behind the scenes look at City Reapers Media Day with Amari Evans. That'll be with Snipe and Tom. Don't go anywhere. Stick with us for the OTE halftime show. Refs is letting him play, man. They're not really calling no foul. Robinson, Jakai, pulls up, a little short. Evans, hey! Taylor with the finish. Oh, on the floor, jeez. I was gonna say, the one thing that the Reapers probably haven't taken advantage of is their size. Like, the Blue Checks do have some height, but definitely not the big guys that Big Ja and Bryson Taylor can do damage down there. So, stop selling for threes and get inside there. And here we see the little put back that ends up not counting. Bryson Tiller is a scary human. Just a massive, massive guy. 6'10". He's got offers from UNC, Kansas, Auburn. Right now he's second in the league. Rebounds per game, almost 12 boards. I wonder where he's going to go. Yeah, if you, I have if, no idea where he's going. And, and, and he's got more options than that, but let's just narrow it down to those three for the sake of this conversation. Yeah. Which one would you choose of those three? So I don't like UNC a ton, but I, I like it for him. Like, I, he strikes me as a UNC. Why is that? He just, like, got the fundamentals. I feel like he is a team guy. I, I think, you know, I know he's in the red right now, but I could see right, the right. blue. I could just see it all coming together. 
Hey, I'm a Duke fan. I used to work for Duke basketball, so I'm going to say don't go to UNC. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it would be cool to see him and, him and Passmore playing together at Kansas as well. Uh, it would be very interesting. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Snipe, where do you think he should go? Oh, State, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, Snipe. To the big team, man. He's such, Snipe is such a fake Ohio State fan. <laughs> Snipe claims everything. That's crazy. That's not true. Man. Everything but Knicks and Giants. You know what? We don't want you. We've got it. We've got enough over here. I think we have our first big bonus here. You hear the horn? It is time for the big bonus. Tom, you want to explain the big bonus? I would love nothing more than explaining the big bonus. Talk so, to me. Usually in normal other people basketball, when games, when you know you reach a certain amount of fouls, you're gonna shoot one and one free throws, just shoot, shoot at the line. That's very boring. It doesn't show how good a player is. So we create a new thing. When you get into the bonus, you get to the big bonus, which is a five on four fast break. Guy gets to the ball, Jakai's gonna be chasing behind him. You're gonna have five on four for the entire 14 seconds. And we get to see these guys make real decisions in real time to see how creative they can be with the ball and their decision making. Walker, off the mark, Knight, there you go. nice put back. They settle for a lot of threes on the big bonus, but it does lead to a lot of chaos. It's a lot of threes, a lot of dunks. Nice put back there by Knight. And I think this zone is giving them a lot of trouble right now, the City Reapers, because they don't really have someone that can get inside of it and break it down. I think when Hype was in, that was probably their best option. And you see it there with the turnover. Now they have some shooting. Some great shooting. I, I'm looking at Parker Robinson. I'm looking at Jakai, who's shot really well this year. But you're right, Tom. They don't. They, they don't have that guy to really. And you know, frankly, I'd like to see Jakai kind of, kind of get into the lane yeah. and and take it to the rack. Because I think he could be someone who could break up the zone. Totally, and I think honestly, it starts with the defense. Yeah. If they can get a few more fast break buckets, like it feels like they haven't scored very much <laughs> lately. Five point game with under a minute left in the first half. In the corner. A little long. Miller. It's fouled by Belton. We got another big bonus. Going the other way. Snipe, who's taking this big bonus shot? I would love if Parker Robinson can kind of get it going. Zero points right now, missed a few attempts, but I just think that it only takes one to go in, man. That's, that's coming from a shooter, you know? Probably would. Parker right now is in the corner. Now, Ja'Kai and Bryson both have five points. Amari has two points. But you're right, tonight. Parker and Jahari Miller are not on the board yet. I'm going to go with uh, a Ja'Kai baseline dunk. What do you got, Tom? Uh, Bryson Tiller right to the rim. Oh, that was the one. Oh, that was the one. Oh, one. Snipe. oh, oh great man. pass. Nice. <laughs> Uh, Amari Evans did the finish. I just want to remind everyone that I picked the blue checks and Day and Snipe picked uh, the city ring. I, I stand by it. Yeah, make, sure you make sure you remember that at the end of the game. Just want everyone to remember. Felton. That's Jones. 6 4 guard. Pulls up. Oh, oh my me. Loves to just drain threes. That was a funky looking shot, too. Yeah, Snipe, what's up with lefties? Why are you guys so good at shooting? The lefty going to the right is always a little weird looking. But Paul Jones, the third, up to six points. Eight seconds left. That's Shakai. No look to Bryson Tiller. Off the back rim. No foul. That's kind of no foul. It's kind of crazy, man. And that is how that half will end. And Slamp, I'm with you. I thought there should have been a foul there. Blue checks finish the first half strong. They'll take a six-point lead into the second half up 31-25. That was a fun first half, a great pace. And, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how the City Reapers hold up in the second half with a short bench, especially at the pace that they're playing at, Tom. Super impressive half. Um, I'm impressed that the, the Blue Checks were able to come out to Atlanta and play well. But we got Sniper Jones right now with Rakesh Passmore. Talk to me, Sniper. All right, I'm with Rakesh now. You guys came out very aggressive, got to a big lead. What went into that? Uh, our coach before the game was like, come out here and know who you are. So we all came out here. 
get to make a name for ourselves. We just came from playing hard. You also went to a zone defense. Was there anything particularly y'all seen to go into a zone? Uh, we usually try to mix it up a little bit every once in a while, like press, zone, man, just to see like how the team adjusts to it. And something that pays off. Man. Okay, now listen, we looking at the stats and you leading the league in leaks on the fast break. Talk to me, what, what's the what's the thought process when you getting back in like five seconds? Uh, when I see my teammate got it, we, call, we got some thing called NASCAR, you gotta get out. Like, you gotta get out. And they had it, and I be out. Appreciate you, man. Good luck on the rest of the game. Day, Tom, back to y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Rakish. Thank you, Snipe. Hey, chat, real quick, let me know who you think's gonna win this game. We got a close one. Do not go anywhere. We got a great atmosphere at OTE Arena. Do not go anywhere. Be right back with the OTE Halftime Show. Bop it. It was like bop it, twist it, turn it. And then if you would mess up, it would make, make that little weird noise. GameStop. This is pre-GameStop. What is it, like a movie store? Um, Blockbuster? Nah, I've never been to one, but I've seen one before. Welcome back to the OTE. We are here at the half. Tom, amazing basketball played in the first half. Blue Checks came out to a six-point lead. What do you think about it? I was really impressed by the Blue Checks. Like, most of the time when teams come out here for the first time at OTE, yes. they struggle. And, and they did. They went at two points in the first, like, three and a half minutes. But then to pick it up, Rakees gets some fast break dunks. I, I was really, like, they blew me away. I wasn't really sure if they would come out and how it would look in the first half. So that's one of the first things I wanted to ask Rakees when I seen him before we did a Bob Cam interview. He like, yo. I see him looking around. He's like, yeah. the ice is bright, the environment is different, but somehow they locked in and they came ready to play. I think one thing that really is helping the teams that come here for the first time is we had the takeover before the season started. So Rakis, Jasim, yep. the coaches, they had seen this place, they had been able to come, they did shoot around this morning, so it wasn't as new as it simply has. I think that's cool. City Reavers are missing their guys. Absolutely. Let's check out some of the first half highlights because the City Reapers, they need some help, Tom. And yeah. one of the things they need help with is spreading the floor. Ja'Kai, right. he's been able to make an impact on both ends. Right. The shots aren't falling like they usually do. And now Rakees, not only is he getting back in transition like you mentioned earlier, but I like the way they're coming out with the game plan running his own. I love the zone, especially in the second quarter, kind of switching to that. The the Reapers are having a hard time getting in the middle. I'm curious if to start the third quarter when they have big job back in the game, if they can if they can exploit that a little bit more. But Rakeem's pass more. I know we've said it 100 times. His ability to get <laughs> leaks is incredible. And he also had a game this year with 14 rebounds. Like, it's not like he doesn't rebound the ball. He just, this, I think he just has really, really good court awareness and, and basketball mentality to know, like, oh, wow, it's time for me to go. I mean, that's just great team chemistry. I'm like that when I'm playing 2K with my boys. When the ball goes up, when we I'm pickup. down the court, bro. No, when we play pickup, you're out there. I'm like, wow, how did he get such a fat, like, but you, on, you don't man. go to the rim, though. You're shooting. Shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, see, it might be a big giant down there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no parts of that. Let's check out the media day and uh, see what they got to say. Today we got media day. We bring the energy, take photos, videos. Just try to enjoy ourselves while getting content. Just try to get us like our faces same more. Yeah, baby guard. So we took team photos. So we just had to follow the camera and stuff. And BT just kept making little comments. <laughs> <laughs> Do the things that make you laugh when we had to be serious. People know I got the best energy. They know I'm coming with the energy every time. <laughs> I got a crowd. <laughs> I got you, I got you. At every station, I'm making it a point that, yeah, I'm the best streamer. And you're a... Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I got you. Ah! Yeah, I'm comfortable in front of that camera for sure. Just here to show my personality a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, let it. We went and took pictures for the year. Like our head shot. Jump passes, over exaggerate the pass. Don't want somebody. Hey! Media day was cool, it was a good experience, fun. They had fun with my guys and see them show their personalities. And now we got to know the City Reapers a little bit more. Let's talk to the locker room and see what Coach got to say. Let's just say that's the lineup and that flat ball screen, just switch it. Just switch it. So that means you're guarding this big that wants to pick and pop. All right. He's just like standing there like that. So we <laughs> just gonna switch it. Let's just switch that. All right. Let's just switch that. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. If the point guard reset, he's trying to get downhill. He's trying to get down here. Now we just now we just blocks and nail and nail. All right. Strength and nail. Guys, we're shooting 24% from the floor. We shot 18 twos and 15 threes. We have three possessions. We got to push it to 12 because we don't want to look ahead, but in that 12, at that fourth quarter, they're used to that. They go to another level. All right? So we got to push it ahead, and then guess what? We'll go to another level as well. All right? We'll go to another level as well. Bigfoot, good job, but I don't need you with a guy 320 trying to take it from him. Because the minute that you try to take it from him, you're getting yourself off balance. And he got good fo footwork down there. He got real good footwork down there. Just make him play through your chest and use your 7-7 seven, seven wingspan. Go ahead, Johnson. Hey, we got to make sure, like, we got to make sure we're hunting. Right? We got a way with crashing the board. Now, as y'all know, man, we got the chat in hand. Yes, so sir. I, we need y'all live in the chat right now. What are they saying in the chat, Tom? Well, first of all, we have to say happy birthday to Aiden. Aiden, happy birthday, happy birthday man. Your birthday. It's also overtime Sam's birthday. I like yours a little bit better. Um, we got Brayden in here. Shout out to Brayden. They are, oh, oh, here we go. There's a great one. Synergy Jack says Ja'Kai and Mustaf are basically Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe kind of crazy because they both guards, but they're they're a great tandem. I like the tandem. I um I, I do I do love that as well. Uh, dope boy said uh, that he's my dad and he loves me. <laughs> NY's finest says, I wish Bronny was here. Yeah, that'd be fun. Um, where do you think Carter Knox is going to commit? That's a good question. Carter Knox, one of the best players in our league. Um, he's a, a senior, uh, and he's looking at a bunch of different schools and maybe some not like college options, but he just visited South Florida the other day, looking at Kentucky, Louisville. I don't know where he's going to go. I have no idea. That but one? if you guys like OTE players, you might want to check out One Shot, and we'll be back with you guys in a second. I know one thing. I'm itchy for a heavyweight battle. Make sure two things happen. We play hard all the time, and we play together all the time. They got size. God bless them for that. But I know one thing. A puncher never likes to get punched. When you bring 32 of the best players from around the world, not, there's always some challenges. I get angry because I'm passionate, you know what I'm saying? Where you going? The talent level is higher than most anybody that they've ever competed against. How do I go from shooting 20 shots every time I stepped on the court to coming off the bench? That's your only bucket. It's hard becoming professionals at the age of 16 and 17. You don't have it, I do. <laughs> he didn't come into this business and make friends. 11 guys in the NBA under six foot or But I would rather him try and fail than not try. Definitely smaller fish in a big pond. You took a path that nobody else has taken. If you don't commit to it all the way, you're going to fail big time. Stop talking to each other. Are we on defense offense? I need to know, I need to know, I need to know. You'll be fine, though. You're a hoop. Oh, I need to 
It's knowing every day when you wake up. What are you doing it for? You know what you promised your grandma, right? Hey, Ruff, I know you like that. Welcome back to the O O T E Arena Good Halftime Show. By the way, just seeing that O T uh, the the one shot documentary, I can't get enough of that. I've watched it twice already. Tom, when we were listening inside the huddle there, there was a number that stuck out to me: that the City Reapers are shooting 24 percent from the field, but they're only down six. I think that kind of bodes well for them. Yeah, I mean they can't shoot worse. So right. You, so you have to assume, hey, we shoot a little bit better. Is that is that make up the six points? I think it does. We have 20 minutes of action left. Here we go. You want to change your pick? No. <laughs> Am no. I able to? No, no. I'm just oh, snipe. <laughs> hey, I got pick Don't integrity, jump man. I got pick integrity. I'm standing tall. Chat, who do you think? Because right now it's a six-point lead. We want nobody flip-flopping. Get your pick in now because we'll be checking who flip-flops and who stands by their pick. And shout out to my guy Tucker Wallace, who's been tapped in on the chat the whole entire time. Tucker, we appreciate it, man. I hope you're having a good day. I hope, if you, I hope whatever team you want to win wins. Rejected. And Taylor will go to the line for two. Now, we just talked about their field goal percentage. Don't love that opening shot there by Jakai, the fadeaway mid-range from the baseline. Yeah, I, I, I think they need to get some easier looks. Not a dream come true, but now getting Bryson Taylor to the, to the foul line off of an offensive board. They need to use their size. They are way bigger and way tougher than, than the blue checks. We got see it. Tom, do you like OTE basketball? I love it. Well, we got another doubleheader tomorrow night. <laughs> Rakees pass more in the blue, and the blue checks score off against Carter Knox and RWE on Prime Video before the YNG Dreamers. And Eli Ellis hosts his best friend, Bryson Tiller, and the City Reapers on YouTube. It all begins tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. Tom and I, along with Sniper Jones, will be on the call. We will see you there. I, I do love that we have back-to-back -back nights always because it really, the second night, it's always the teams that we, the, the teams that lost the first night are freaking out. Oh, oh, go. So here we go. Come on. Come on. Amari throws it up. Chakai adjusts. Oh, I thought I'd never seen a day of live that yeah, yeah. Chakai couldn't catch. I was confused by that. It was, it was a little out in front of him, it looked like. Let's take another look at it here, Tom. So this was the foul earlier. There you go. All right, so we're attacking. We're attacking. The Reapers are attacking. We like to see that. Jakai now with six points. Sorry, go on, Tom. No, obviously we saw the one-shot promo early on. Jakai obviously a key, a key member of that, one of the stars of the entire show. Um, so make sure you check out One Shot on Prime Video. He, he really, like, to me, like, is one of the most improved players here. Offensively, we're, I know he's missed that free throw, but working on a shot, but working on his energy. Like, to get that offensive rebound, I don't know if that has, that happens in the past. Now he, he's totally turned his game, and uh, it's made him kind of a perfect player. Oh, nice spin move by Big John. Tom, I'm totally with you. Of course, the athleticism jumps right, you know, you can't miss it. Oh, it's right in your face. But his defense and his outside shooting, his overall energy on the defensive end have really stood out to me, too. For sure. And you see Paul Jones out here. He's 15 of 27 from three this season. Mm. Oh, I thought now he's 15 of 28. Could have been a call there. <laughs> he's at home. That's why you follow your own shot right there. That's a prime example. That's just seen. Felton pulls up. Off the mark. I hate people that follow their own shot when I'm playing. I don't have a box out, so it's super frustrating. Amari. A little off the mark. Coach quick Martin possessions, happy. quick possessions. Yeah, I was actually talking to Coach Martin, and he told <laughs> he told uh, Martin before he went in the game, uh, you got four contested yeah, shots. Yeah, it's not your game, it so we can make it five now. Right. <laughs> Felt in a little short. Both teams coming out a little bit cold in the second half here. Taylor spins off the mark. more the other way. No, he is fast in the open court, man. I'm telling you, man, he just has like this knack where it's like, oh, he's wide open now? 
Passmore up to 10 points on the game. Um, I got a Passmore question for you guys. His Instagram. Trapping early. I like the chat. Um, Rakeem's Passmore, his Instagram bio says zero stars. Hmm. He has four stars. I kind of like that move. Hey, you think it's like a like a Ricky Bobby, if you're not first, you're last? Or is it more like a, you know, a humble approach? You know, I, I, I do like the shake and bake approach <laughs> we got, as we got a big bonus for the City Reapers. Already? Which is kind of crazy because we have over five minutes left here in the third quarter. They're playing a little too aggressive. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to say. If they're already in the big bonus, if I'm the City Reapers, I'm taking it to the rack every single possession for the rest of this quarter. I agree with that. Miller to Tiller. Evans, okay, baseline. Pass. Tiller. Down. <laughs> it always makes me laugh when Bria Janelle says that. I think with Bryson Tiller, what you're seeing a lot this oh. year, he's had a couple really big games already. Last year, he played with the Thompson Twins. Yep. He was only a sophomore last we're gonna see his dunk right here. But he was just only a sophomore last year, playing with the Thompson Twins, playing with Eli Ellis. He had like moments where you're like, wow, is he gonna be the best player in this whole entire league? And early on this year, he had a game earlier with 14 and 10. He's having a good night tonight. When he's getting to the rim and he's finishing right around the basket, he's unstoppable for this game. Mari Evans takes a hard fall there. Pass more, in and out. Miller, back to Ja'Kai, pumps. Miller, the young boy, the young boy has came to play. Jahari Miller gets on the board with his first points of the evening. Chopped out with confidence, man. Didn't think about it. Right and the shoot. City Reapers have taken the lead here in the third quarter. There you go. We're just taking another look, Tom. Check it out, Jahari Miller, a freshman on the City Reapers, getting the start tonight. He uh, he's based out of Indiana. He, he actually works out with Jeff Teague, who a lot of people have, are obviously a big fan of right now, who will join us in, next week on our broadcast. Yes, sir. Um, so Jahari Miller, obviously a freshman. One, of, I think he's ranked top 10 in the country. Him and Lincoln Cosby plays for RWB. So, I mean, this is just the start for him. And as popcorn walks by us, I am just that smelled so good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you want to get tripped out like us in OT gear, there's only one place to get it. Head to shop.overtime.tv or scan the QR code on screen for all the latest collections. So I'm and having a really hard time with this because it's like you have to pick one team's gear to buy, right? Like you don't, I mean, you could get all the teams, but like I want to, I don't know who I want to be loyal to yet. Now, what team has your favorite gear? <sighs> Look, I'm from New York, so I love Jelly Bam. Jelly. I, I can rock the purple and like tur and turquoise all the time. Like Dude, me. our high school is purple. I, I know. I agree with you. Blue Jacks and RWE, very simple and sleek. Rolling Loud has some gear coming out soon that looks insane. But I'm going to go with the Diamond Dubs. Diamond Dubs gear is unreal. I got to say that. Squeeze. Continue to fight over the top or squeeze. Continue to fight over the top. BT. Fade away with two people, not a good shot. Contest the three, when I just told you, contest the three, not a good shot, man. Come on. Gotta be better than that. Gotta be, huh? Yes, come on. Gotta be better than that. That's a great question. It's a great Tie ball game with a couple minutes left here in the third quarter. Hey, I'm with Coach Martin on there. Especially now with the big bonus. Yep. I'm expecting to see the City Reapers put the ball on the floor a lot here. But this is why OT is so special this season. We've always had a lot of a lot of great talent, but I think this year having eight teams from all across the country, way more competitive. We have the one seed playing the sixth ranked team and it's a tie ball game. I don't know if that's happened in the past at OT. So to have eight teams now, they're all really competitive. Um, any team can win on any game. A lot of parity. Yes, 100%. Amari drives, throws it up, nice finish. Snipe, that's what he's got to do, right? Gets the rack a little bit. I can't hear Amari him. Evans up to six points. And I'm looking for him to take over here in this third quarter. That's Rivers Knight with the ball. Back to Jay Walk. Speaking of jerseys, though, these blue check jerseys aren't bad. He did an amazing job with the jerseys this year. Facts. Rivers Knight. Are they, is this your favorite one? Not, not my favorite, but I do think they're sleepers, though. I, I want to see some alternates. Before I say favorite, I want to see some alternates, because those are oh, yeah. insane. Big Jod is a pull-up on the rim. I'm ready for Big Jod to shatter a backboard. 
I would love to see Big John Shatter back. Who would Shatter back for first? Big John or Santo? Santo. Oh, dang, I didn't even get that question. Santo. <laughs> I, I knew where you were going with it, and it has to be. As we, got, as we got Daquan Davis coming over to the booth here. Hey, Daquan, why should people tune into the next game real quick? You heard of a lead matchup as Ja'Kai Howard. Ja'Kai is on a mission, man. The, the growth from Ja'Kai offensively, defensively as a leader has been one of the best transitions I, I think I've ever seen. Back rim. Diallo with the rebound. And Felton brings it back out. I think Big Jock could break a rip before a sophomore. You know what I'm, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> Maybe Peyton Marshall can break one before both. You never know. That's Walker. A oh, and the buzzer. It's weird. The start of the first quarter, the start of the third quarter, almost no one could score. And then now all of a sudden we got some good pacing. In. All the all the jitters is out, Tom. They ready to hoop. They ready to hoop. 42 all with three minutes left. We got a great game here at the O. Extra pass, Young boy. Miller. Hey! Dahari Miller finding his stroke in the third quarter. Stepping over with Jaden Mustaf out, taking his minutes a little bit, starting at the point guard spot, hitting two threes. Evans with the rebound, taken away. Passmore on the floor. Let's take a look at Ja to Ja'Kai. To Jahari. Well, first we'll take a look at that big dunk there from Big Ja. This is the Jakai three. And here's the, J the Jahari three. It's a mouthful there, Tom. Ja, Jakai, Jah Jahari. <laughs> <laughs> it's a struggle. Uh, interesting, Coach Doug Martin giving Ja and Ja'Kai a break right now. They both had great quarters so far, so we'll see if the City Reavers can kind of... There we go, Jahari. Well, he's everywhere right now. Three-point lead for the City Reapers with under three minutes left in the third. Outscoring the Blue Checks 20-10 to 10 in this third quarter. Um, Pup Swag wants to know if we have RWE in our top three. I do, and also that's a great name, Pup Swag. Yeah. But yes, I do, I do. Rico Adams says, bro, this second half so different from the first. Mm. You hear the horn? It is time for the big bonus. This time for the blue checks. Fuck it! Fuck it! Move it, screen! Coach Doug Martin unhappy with the refs. Well, we got a Blue Checks big bonus here. This is their first big bonus. Uh, so let's see if they got any strategy here. You know, they probably need to. I'm going, uh, I'm going pass more three. Pass hey, more hey. on the floor. So do, I, do I get partial credit? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. He's Thank talking you. now, too. I didn't think he was someone that would talk. Mike Jackson loses control. Pass more on the fast break. Hey! Touch the sky. Rakees Passmore. He's talking to everyone. He's talking to Amari. He's talking to his coach. He's talking to the whole City Reapers bench. Rakees Passmore going crazy right now. Height, crossover, corner, Robinson, hit me. Back and forth action here at OTE Arena as the City Reapers reclaim a two point lead. Oh, rejected. Bryson Tiller on the help defense. Jackson the other way. Oh. And it'll stay right here. Woo! Tom, let's take a look at this Rakeis dunk first. Here's a tough little up and under. Then comes down on the break, and he's like screaming for it. Here you go. Ah! Talk your talk, young man. He can put zero stars in his Instagram bio all he wants. We know. We know the truth. That dude's a 10 star. Robinson. Pulls. Back rim. Big jaw with the board. Miller to Robinson. Oh, that one looks good. Slay, what's going on down there? I got Quan with me right now. Big matchup up next, man. How you feeling right now? I see the, the swagger up, the energy up right now. I feel good right now. I feel great. Now, one thing me and you was talking about before the camera came on, you might be like the most underrated scorer in the entire league. Everybody know you for catching charges, playing defense, but you averaging 18 points under the radar. How is that possible? I mean, I don't really take credit for what I do. I just 
I just do what I needed to do to help the team win. That's all. And you came over here and said you will beat me first to ten. Sure. Standing on that. I'm standing on that. Oh, you always here. We can play any time. Say that. Hey, I'm bringing my shoes next time. I'm lacing it up. I'm gonna tell you how to score later. We go, it's off camera though. I ain't getting embarrassed. And hey, back to y'all at the booth, man. I'm going Quan 11 nothing in that game. That's out of hand. 11. Oh my. 11 nothing. Tommy say that because he don't know. Tommy. Oh. Tom, tell him. Look, look, look. I played with Sniper Tom. Hype with a nice bucket. I love hype so much. We talk about him in a second. I played with Sniper Tom. Great shooter. Very underrated player, but every time I feel wow, what a finish! I just just seen Belton a taste of the rainbow. What I was gonna say, Snipe's afraid to play against OT players. We got to take a look at this. I, I agree. I got very sidetracked by that bucket, but I agree with you, Tom. Take a look at this Belton floater. Mm. He's so tough. So he played AAU basketball with AJ DeBance, who a lot of people know is maybe the best player in the whole country who's not named Cooper Flag. Um, and honestly, Jasim was the number one option on the team. Like, he, he's obviously older, just seems a senior. AJ DeBance was only an uh, incoming sophomore at the time. But uh, he just he finished with Eddie. About nine seconds separate the game clock and shot clock. And the blue checks are going the other way. Look who's leaking. Pass more. Two. Good job there by Jahari Miller getting back on that transition defense that you were talking about tonight. Finally someone gets back. We'll take another look. You said he's fifth in OT in scoring? Uh, Passmore? Yeah, yeah. Fifth in the league in scoring, fifth in the league in rebounds. He's up to 15 already and it feels pretty effortless. Um, he had a game winner earlier this year also. They played against Rolling, Rolling Loud. Loud, yeah. Yeah, out in North Carolina. Um, went to overtime, and, and Marquise hit a game winner. So he's clutch. He gets to the rim. He can shoot. Like, I, I don't know if there's any three-level. I mean, him and Carter Knox, probably three-level scorers. I mean, you guys must shoot from the outside. But, man, I'm Shot afraid. clock turned off. They send in the blitz, man. I like the approach. If you don't have a deep roster, Gotta tire him out. It's a, it's a great approach. City Reapers will look to draw something up here with less than 10 seconds left. Rakees Passmore up to 16 points, 47% uh, from the field. That'll get it done. There you go. I don't know how you stop him. Good See what Coach Martin's job. Hey, chat, real quick, who's taking this last shot for the Reapers as we listen in on the huddle? What's the over under on me and Daquan? LA, come off it, keep it, show the ball. Turn downhill, dunk the basketball. Show the basketball. If you don't show the basketball, you're not going to score. Let's go. Let's go. So it sounds like Coach Doug Martin is, is setting up a little fake handoff for Ja'Kai, where he's going to fake the handoff and go right to the rim and hopefully dunk all over Bigfoot in the middle. Is that a W or L play, Tom? Um, I'm always a fan of Ja'Kai attempting to dunk, so I'm going to say a big W. The play action. Ja'Kai, oh, that's a big job off his hands. Two seconds, puts it up. Too short. CJ Purdy with a prayer, and we have a two-point game heading to the fourth quarter. We got a good finish lined up. Don't go anywhere. No cap. You got green bubble, you cannot join the chat. Yeah, no cap. Uh, no cap. Green green bubble text should never be in the group chat. If there's green bubble text in the group chat, there's a problem. You guys gotta help whoever that is out. Yeah, my my AU coach, he has a he has an Android, so you know his text is green, but he's a little older, so I'll, I'll give him a pass. What you mean? I just messed up the whole vibe of the chat. Are you texting an old head? I'd like to take I'd like to take this time to shout out the Adidas Six Fan Porter Couch from Moynette, Arkansas. Porter said his favorite OTE team is the YNG Dreamers. 
And his favorite OTE players are Eli and Isaac Ellis, who are coming up next. Porter, thank you for being a super fan of OTE. All right, guys, I'm with Porter right now. Porter, what's going on, man? How you feeling? How you liking the arena right now? Fire. You said it's fire? You said it's fire, so we must be doing good. Okay, close game. Who's getting a W? City Reapers. City Reapers getting a W. Okay, who's your favorite team here at OTE? Dreamers. Dreamers? And who's your favorite player on the Dreamers? Eli. Do you play like Eli? How you getting get a better shooter, but... I kind of look like him a little bit. Okay, okay. Well, we thank you, man. I appreciate you. Hope you have a good time. You say Eli might be a better shooter, but he got the rest of the game, y'all. Thank you, Parker. Thank you, Sniper. That's our Adidas 6 fan of the game. Now, Tom, let me ask you, how do the blue checks pull off this win? They're down two right now with 12 minutes on the clock. How do they pull ahead and get this win? First and foremost, I love that six fan, but I, I hate Eli. <laughs> so that's, that, that's an L. Um, how are they going to, they need to keep doing what they're doing, I think. Keep getting out on the break, keep changing up the defenses. They are keys out right now. I don't love that for too long. It's a 12 minute quarter, so they got to give them a little break. Um, oh my goodness, nice that was tough. Start. So, so I think as long as they do that, and, and ultimately on defense, can they keep the ball out of the paint? Keep it away from Big Jock, keep it away from Bryson Taylor, and force the City Reapers to shoot from the outside. No way, right? Taylor. Big John with the board. Oh, go to okay. work. He missed it. Spins once, spins twice. Might have gotten away with the travel. Robinson up the back to John. Too long. Great defense from the Blue Checks. John had him initially on the wing pass. I don't think he got a chance to see it. So, Tom, in the intro, we were talking about the matchup between Ja'Kai and Rakis. Now, they haven't really been matched up that much against each other, but so far, Rakis is outscoring Ja'Kai. What have you seen between those two guys? Oh, yeah, but you see Ja'Kai even just there on the defensive side again. That block is yep. getting a few big rebounds. I do think those two guys are leading the team, just by not just leading the team in points. Um, I think whichever one of those two guys can be a shot by Parker Robinson. Wow. I think those two guys being the leaders and bringing the energy, I think that's probably going to de determine this fourth quarter. And I'd like to see them match up a little bit here as we get down the stretch. Watts to the rim, kicks. That's Walker looking for help. Jones drives, pulls oh, that back. That separation is crazy. Oh, oh my goodness. Paul oh, Jones, the third. It's kind of crazy he comes off the bench. Mr. Jones. Yo, did y'all see the, the space he created off the one dribble step back? I mean, he, he jumped back about five feet there as yeah. Big Ja finishes at the rack. It's a pro move. It's like no one's even going. Like, Big Ja has to feel like no one's actually going. He's like, oh, I don't even see. There you go. The 6'7 Diallo is covering Big Ja right now. So <laughs> he has about five inches. All Jones with a great move there. Love that. Mr. Jones. So with Big Ja, we talk, we've talked a lot about Big Ja and Ja'Kai. And last yep. week, um, obviously, the big game was City Reapers versus RWE, and I talked a lot to Ja'Kai before the game, and he kind of said Big Ja has been the guy all season for him. Like, if Ja'Kai is feeling down, if the team's feeling down, Ja'Kai's, I mean, Big Ja is really the constant one picking them all up, so it's great to see him out here. we already with 12 points. Parker and Robinson. He's heating up. He's heating up. And the City Reapers up to a five-point lead. Tom, to finish your point there, I'm totally with you on Big Ja. He, he is the man in the middle. He's got a game-high 12 right now for the City Reapers. I think they're going to lean on him, especially with this, this favorable matchup versus, Dia uh, versus Diallo. We spoke about it earlier. Look at Parker Robinson getting an open look in the corner. I can't even say that was open. That's a tough no, it wasn't, shot. Yeah. If he gets it going, it's going to be a long quarter for the Blue Jays. Parker was like the last guy to sign with OTE this spring. Jones, Summer. in and out. He's already down. He's leaking. The other way. Parker. Oh, oh, oh. That'll be a foul on Hype Jackson. Isn't it crazy that Big Job basically grew up with LeBron? It is. Like, yeah, that's that's is wild. That? How old was he on those Blue Jets teams? I want to say... Not 
what, he's 18, 19 now. He was probably 12 when he first started playing for LeBron. He was looking Bron in his eyes at like 13. Yes, we filmed him down in Alabama, Bro Bronny and Big Ja down in Alabama. I don't know if LeBron was there for that back in like 2015. Walker pulls up. Favorable. But yeah, I mean, his, his, bounce. his whole basketball career has been playing for LeBron James with Bronny. Rondo's been there. Like, there's all these different guys. Height. Nice finish at the rim. Tough lay, man. This kid can score in every way possible. Who are playing with LeBron's best friend, Carmelo Anthony's son, yep. Kyan Anthony. And you can see why, man. He's a bucket for sure. Jones rejected by Evans. Ah. Just stared out after. Take another look. Amari Evans at six foot five. Way to close out here. Amari just a dog, man. Nothing he can't do out there on the court. Reminder, the City Reapers only have two on the bench. Guys getting a lot of minutes tonight for the City Reapers. It's a foul to Kai. Felton will go to the line. Five point lead with eight and a half minutes remaining. Jack, keep up, keep it up in the chat. We want to know who you think is going to win, who's playing well, who are your favorite players, any questions you have at all. We got a lot of people out here. Someone asked, Jay Prods asked, what are your go-to basketball shoes? Anything Adidas. I like the AE ones a lot right now. Um, obviously, you always can rock some Hardens if you need to, but anything from Adidas is what I'm wearing. Uh, Ismail Nade wants to know, is Samto playing later? Obviously, RW Weavers, Dreamers coming up in a little bit. Samto is out for that game. Still banged up with a little injury, but he'll be back very, very soon. I'm a little bummed we're not going to see Samto, but that's going to be a great game. Hey, guys. Yeah. Paul Jones the third. I got a nickname. Okay. PJ3. Simple. Ooh. PJ3. I like him. Very simple and good. That's good. PJ3. You never give me a nickname, Snipe. Yeah, I'm, I like Tom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hype. Tamari Evans. Spins away from trouble, throws it up. Marquise, way out there. Felton to the rack. Oh, that's A. Come on now. It's a big boy move. Jasim Felton once again. I think the thing with Jasim, right, is like he is a scorer, but he has so much good talent on his team that he tries to get, he gets stuck playing a point guard sometimes. Oh, Hype Jackson. Hype is just a scorer. He, he doesn't worry about anything other than scoring at all times. <laughs> Blue checks get close. City Reapers jump back ahead. Felton looking for his. Pulls up. Back rim. I like that shot from him. Seeing a couple go in, I like the confidence. Hype a little, a little out of control. Come on, Hype. If I'm him, I'm not passing that ball. Ooh, good pass. Celebration <laughs> Tiller. Tiller was calling for it early on the pick and roll. I would've got subbed, I would've heat check, man. I would've heat check. So Hype, I wanna say Hype is the closest player oh. to Rob Dillingham. Passmore spins, oh, what a finish. Ooh. Rakees Passmore up to 18 on the game. Give it back to him. Taylor oh, oh. to the rack. Oh. And he'll go to the line for two. We will come back with Bryson Tiller. Four point lead for the City Reapers. You're not gonna wanna miss this finish. Stick with us. LeBron, Michael Jordan, Kobe, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant, Draymond Green. Shy, Gilgis Alexander, Anthony Edwards, James Harden, Russell Westbrook. Uh, uh, Oi! Tom, Tom, we gotta take a look at the Cash App lockdown of the game. Bryson Tiller with the block. I think he learned that from Jakai. 
a little chase down here. We saw Bronny have a big chase down the other day. Um, Bryson Taylor, great defensive player there. Leads to the break. Just seemed fell in. Honestly, had no no uh, no shot there. <laughs> well, it just wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna happen over Bryson Taylor. The help defense is always there from Bryson Taylor. We talked about his rebounding, second in the league with almost 12 a game, but the block numbers are there too. I think he just needs to keep being as aggressive as possible. I think, like I said, last year he was like a fourth, fifth option behind the Thompson Twins. Now he's really like the number one. Tom, we were talking in the intro, we were talking about at the beginning of the quarter, Ja'Kai and Rakis talk about their matchup. And, you know, I don't think the box score really tells the whole story either. I mean, look, Rakeem's pass more 18 points. They've been 18 massive points getting out on the break, getting a lot of dunks, hitting tough shots, hitting tough lays. And then Ja'Kai kind of doing it all. Nine points, eight rebounds. I think when they're playing, when the Reapers are missing a lot of shots for Ja'Kai to get in there, get some offensive boards, start the break by getting some defensive rebounds. These guys are leading their teams just like we'd expect. And I think now down the stretch, you're going to see them probably look to score a little bit more than anything else. They both look great on the defensive end. Passmore has definitely been more efficient than than uh, than Jakai tonight so far. But we know how quickly that could change with a couple of Jakai dunks. A little put back here, a little put back there. Something special for Jakai. Taylor hits the first. Hey, be sure to keep it locked immediately following this game. Check out the leading score in OTE, Eli Ellis. His YNG Dreamers look to stay undefeated against Daquan Davis and RWE. Dreamers, RWE, coming up next on YouTube. Couple good questions here. NY Spines, who runs the OTE IG account? Want to give a shout out to Ryan Rossi and the whole entire OTE social squad. Always doing a great job. And Tucker Wallace, I see you, man. Keep doing a great job. You uh, you mentioned this next game as Paul Jones misses a three. Um, Eli Ellis, you excited to see him play? Oh, I can't wait to call Eli Ellis because last year I was on the call. Nice finish there by Hype Jackson with the left hand. I was on the call when he went fully unconscious in that second half yep. and broke the OTE three point single game three point record. I want to see that tonight. I, and he's definitely going to shoot enough of them, so we'll see how many he makes. Hype Jackson probably having his best game at OTE so far. He's got 14 points. He's looked great. A lot of guys getting a lot of minutes here. Rivers Knight off the backboard. But you needed that, right? If you're the City Reapers and you're missing Mustafi, Fosa, and Jalen Lewis, you needed someone to step up. And Parker Robinson and Tyler Jackson so far have definitely done that. Pipe to Taylor in the post, and he'll go to the line for two again. The Reapers really attacking down low, Tom. It's what Coach Doug Martin was begging for three quarters. It feels like they're finally figuring it out now here in the fourth. Get it down low, Bryson Taylor, Ja Jackson. Get to the rim if you're Hype Jackson. Get to the rim. And, um, and get some easy ones against the Blue Checks team that's a, a little shorter. You know, we were talking about how the City Reapers will have enough juice with only seven guys, especially at the first quarter, second quarter. We're at a crazy pace. The second half has really slowed down. A Your lot. pick is on the line right now, Dave. I just thought about that, man. You was being real picky about our picks. How you got yeah, this isn't. You got 25. Good. I mean, no, you something. got 21. You got to stick. Bitch, you, you got 25. Stick with your pick. <laughs> pick integrity, ladies and gentlemen. Pick Very important. Integrity. I have a lot of integrity, and that's why I'm gonna shout out Dan Scagliazzi. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Uh, and Payne Best wants to know is is Elroy gonna play for uh, the Dreamers tonight? No Elroy tonight, just Eli. Oh, good defense. Ooh. Kicks. Walker, step back, off the rim. Ja'Kai looking to push the pace up to Amari Evans. Ja'Kai, Taylor, selfish. Amari pumps, draws the contact, and he'll go to That's the line for three shots. Hey. Pro move, Sniper Jones. Great job, great job. What you I got? love that. Coach Martin was all over Amari in the first half, calling him not so smart, and now he's calling him very smart. Take another look right here. Hey. Gotcha. To the line for three, Amari Evans. 
Um, Amari Evans, my favorite thing that he did this past summer, he went head to head with Cooper Flag. Obviously, everyone knows Cooper and they're in his main AAU team. Amari dropped like 24, 20 something against Cooper. Didn't win the game, but I think that was the first time I saw him where I was like, damn, he'll go right after the best player in the country, not afraid of anyone. Amari Evans with eight tonight, make that nine. He has carried a heavy load tonight for the City Reapers with only seven guys. We'll see how they close out this game with under five minutes left. Felton pumps, brings it back out. Look at Ja'Kai on defense. The pick, Felton, back rim. Taylor in transition, goes at night, and he'll go back to the line for two. It feels like the Blue Checks forgot how to score. All the shots that were going in in the first half have not found nylon here in the second. Well, now I'm just thinking who's going to be the player of the game. You got Bryson Taylor's got 13 at the line here. Tyler Hype Jackson's got 14. Big Jaws playing great. Amari's been a leader. Ja'Kai's got rebounds. I mean, this is a very total win here. It has been a balanced attack. If the score stays the same, I think Bryson Tiller would be my pick. The closer. He's been the closer right here for the City Reapers. I think we got a timeout on the floor. You know, Bryson Tiller, we know about his defensive prowess, his rebounding. But when he can get to the rim, and we've seen how he's drawn fouls here in the fourth quarter, he adds an element to the City Reapers that it brings a physicality that I think is really good for them, especially with some of the guys like Mustaf and Iposa that they're missing today. Yeah, you saw that he has a seven foot two wingspan. Sometimes when he dunks, I feel like he tries to see how far his arm can stretch. Kind of reminds me of like MJ and Space Jam, when like his arm is just like all the way the out stretch. there. Um, Bryson Taylor, obviously awesome dude, and, and he's been great and king of the court out here, which has always been fun. Uh, very close to Eli Ellis, who we've talked about a little bit, who we'll see in, a little, in, uh, in the next game as well. Amari, four cross, on the cat, on the cat, yeah, you go. Kai, you come back up top. Screen for Kai. Screen for, you screen the BT, hit. Y'all screen for the Kai. The Kai come up, get behind the defense. Everybody got, go with the BT, go with the BT. Let's go. Three. Three. Hey, two straight, go. two straight stops. Two straight stops. Two straight stops. City Reapers feeling good in that huddle. You know, that, that was one of the more energetic, positive huddles I've heard in a while from, from any team, you know? Coach Doug Martin's got a lot of energy, man. He's always excited. Coaching the NBA for a while, coached a lot of different professional players, and now he's joined here at OT. This is his first season, taking over the City Reapers. He's taking over a, a franchise that won the whole thing last year, and I, I, I feel like he feels a little bit of pressure. A lot of new faces here for the City Reapers. Of course, Eli is now the YNG Dreamers up in North Carolina. The Thompsons are in the NBA. The City Reapers are still playing great basketball. Still Here we right, go. Still right at the top. I want to say shout out to Joshua Jones, my guy. Thank you for tuning in. Hang out with us for the next couple hours for this next game, too, please. Pass more. Walker. Off the rim. See, this is. Hey, Sniper, what's going on down there? All right, I got, I got, I got Parker with me. Quick question. I see you locked in. We talked earlier about you being able to play, make, and do more than spotting up. I think you're doing that this game. We're winning to it. Playing hard, find my teammates, they find me. Open looks, I hit shots, hit shots. Y'all came back. At first, it was looking a little wonky. The game was close. But it seems like y'all figured some things out in the second half. I mean, at halftime, coach was playing with energy. We weren't hitting shots. The shots were starting to fall now. All right, man. Well, good luck on the rest of the game, bro. I'll see you later. Back to y'all. Parker Robinson, one of these do-it-all guys for the City Reapers. Only a sophomore. They'd be so locked in the game, man. I'd be afraid to ask him some questions sometimes. They'd be having that look in their eyes, man. Hey, man, if he swings on you, I, I don't have your back. Yeah, man, I, I need y'all to immediately leave the booth and just, you know, come out. Come Parker, out ready to go. Parker sees himself on the Jumbotron right now. I would be excited to be on the Jumbotron and not on the Bob Cam. Yeah, I'm done. I'm now, done. So, Snipe, Parker, Parker uh, has played in the past with your boy, Adam Moe. 
I know, man. They got a nice little tandem. They was hoping they could play together here at OTE, but instead they had the head. I like that a little bit better, though. Adam, the statue now, man. Adam Moe, yeah. obviously the star on the Cold Hearts, scoring a lot of points this year. Loves to get shots up. Both sophomores and best friends from uh, like the ball, like the Virginia, Virginia DC, yeah. ball, that area. DMV. Yeah, I don't even. It's just a whole area. Speaking of liking to put shots up, Eli Ellis now in the building as the YNG Dreamers are in the corner, looking ready to take on RWE after this. Seeing him in yellow is really weird for me. I don't, I don't know why. I just can't, I can't get over it. Going from a City Reapers to now, he wanted his own team. So he goes back to North Carolina, and now he's on the YNG Dreamers. The long hair, too. He's dancing a lot nowadays. I, I was talking to Isaac earlier. He was like, yeah, I don't even talk to you about that much anymore. But anyways, we'll talk more about him a little bit later. We're excited to see him play RWE in a little bit. Be sure to keep it locked immediately following this game. Eli Ellis and the YNG Dreamers. Daquan Davis and the RWE. Dreamers, RWE coming up next on YouTube. That's going to be a good one as we see RWE looking ready to go. RWE Cam Wilder not in the building tonight, but I I would like for him to call me at some point. A little FaceTime. I'd like to talk to Cam Wilder at some point as he, uh, I don't think him and Eli are allowed to be in the same gym or something. So, uh, so not a restraining order. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and I wanted to say a big, a big shout out to uh, Alexi Marcotte. Doing a great job out there as Hype Jack gets to the rim. There we go. We have a jump ball. Twelve point lead for the City Reapers with three and a half minutes left. Mind you, at halftime, the City Reapers were down six. And this has been an incredible turnaround here for the Reapers. And I am not that was jealous. A that was a flop. Uh, hey, look, they know I'm not too. jealous of Jalen Watts. I'm looking around sniper. in the building. They know it's a flop. I don't know. I, I feel like if I got hit by a jaw like that, I would be crumbling to the ground, too. How, hey, they say it was Draymond esque. <laughs> <laughs> Draymond Green is the worst basketball player in the whole entire world. I hate him so much. If we kicked him out of the NBA right now, I'd be so happy. He's not, not good. They won, the, they won those player. titles in spite of him. I, I dislike him so much. I don't think Draymond is the basketball player anymore, man. He's just, he's just no, a he's guy. He's terrible. Go get paid a billion dollars in WWE or whatever you want to do. with him at the White House. Great, <laughs> great picture. And I asked him for the picture and I regret it. Adam Silver put him in timeout there. <laughs> nice finish by Jasim Felton. You're lucky after that pick you get put to a fever on it. <laughs> Actually, we were in a sketchy hallway in the White House. It was just me and him and I was like, damn. <laughs> You know what? Uh, Gold Lex of being in the White House. I, 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 I did. I did. I did. Hey, can we talk about that? He just dropped that so casually. It's like everyone's been there. That's a oh, time. You know, White House, old 1600. Nice move there by Hype. Big job back to work. We got a jump ball. Um, if you're the blue checks, right? You're down 12 right now. Doesn't feel amazing. You're playing the shorthanded City Reapers. Tomorrow night you got RWE. Are you like devastated? This is your first loss of the year in OTE. Yeah, I mean, the way they played in the first half, I think you have to be disappointed because they were they had this game. It was theirs to lose at halftime. I have not really liked how they played on really both ends of the floor. I think on the offensive side, part of it is just a lot of their shots aren't going in. Yeah. They were shooting close to 15%, uh, 50% in that first half. That's a pretty unsustainable number. Yeah. But on the defensive side, you know, I think they really got in foul trouble early in both quarters. Yeah, the City Reapers made adjustments, taking a lot easier shots, beating Big John Bryson under the hoop. That's really been the difference. I'm really impressed by Hype Jackson this half. He, he's kind of someone came off the bench, still finding his role in the City Reapers. Also, has we said Rivers is the best name. Hype might be the best nickname. Definitely the best nickname. Rivers Knight? I like PJ3, man. Uh, I like PJ3. Uh, you came up with your own name. <laughs> he's trying to make it a thing. PJ3 is a, Wait, it's a thing. The sixth man, did he always have that massive hand over there? 
There's, the six man has a massive foam finger. It's, he just got that. He, he did not have it when I talked to him. You see him, you see him on the city Where did that come from? I, don't, I have no idea. <laughs> can he get that? I want one. Have that. Snipe, can you try to steal that for us? I can try. Don't, don't steal from a kid, guys. Come right. on. Talk, we talk about right. this. Right. I'm going to borrow it with no intentions on giving it back. No, nah, you can do that. Talk, we talk about this. It's tough love. Big job ja with 14 points, make it 15. I think Big Ja is my player of the game. I'm very excited to see who we pick. It's been a bound scoring attack here for the Reapers. Um, the one thing that you notice is, I don't know if Rakeem, Rakeem I think only has one run out this half one little leak bucket. And I think that's kind of the difference. <laughs> like, he, he wasn't able to get out in transition as much. It kind of slowed him down in the half court. You know, we saw Jahari Miller getting back a couple times. A nice dish from Tiller. The transition defense after halftime was a great adjustment by Coach Martin. Rico Adams is saying Ja is getting fouled a lot, which is very true. Duty. I say Duty. shout to Foles. We will get Cam Wilder at some point. Duty. I know we will. I just know it. Um, hey. Hey, hey. hey, Tom, while you're reading these, yeah, yeah. Hey. chat, let me know who you think the player of the game LBT. should be. LBT. I have my pick. I'm going to keep it to myself, though. Sorry, you can continue now, Tom. Write it down so you don't this change This is the craziest thing, name ever. HX Mix Match 1 up. Performance Match X2 up. says, I think Cap. RWB is going to win by Zero, 10. Right? YNG has no big man. That's a pretty mm. good breakdown, honestly. Tyler Ravenhill says, Eli about to drop 35. Mm. Someone said, I suck. That wasn't nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the way you read it was so funny. <laughs> Uh, Tugger Wallace, who's, your favorite, who's the best team in the NBA? Not your favorite team. I know your favorite team is the Knicks. The best team in the NBA. No, my favorite. Oh, Rivers Knight. Look oh, what we have yeah. here. Wow, the let's go. Baby. Let's go. I can beat the crap out of you with this phone pad. <laughs> Woo! Go Reapers. Oh, oh, you got it on both hands. I do. I do. It's, uh, it's tough to call a game with these here. Let's go. I'm jealous, man. Shout out to the Reapers. I'm jealous. Hey, we've got two. Uh, we've got one on each hand. These are so. I want to try to Do you think I can text with these? I think you should try it. Sliding in DMs with big hands. Sniper, <laughs> Sniper Jones. No city Reapers hands. Tough. Tough. Yeah. Here, you want one, Snipe? You want no, one? Fine. It's come, fine. Go, yeah, come in, come here, my guy. I thought of originally, here. man. I'll just take a hand. <laughs> How does it feel when I punch you with them? Yeah? yeah you you want to try that? <laughs> uh, should, we, should we practice our handshake right yeah, now? See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dap me up. All right, here we go. Oh, that's oh so yeah, this is, this is a this is little tough. It's, it's a little tough. That was embarrassing. Uh, uh, sports Clip <laughs> HQ. Tom, can I get a shout-out? Shout-out to you, man. Jay, shout out the Pancake Pod. Anyone that hasn't checked it out on the OT YouTube channel, we have a new podcast called the Pancake Pod. Big fan. Nelson Newman and Cam Wilder talking about all things OTE, talking about their friendship, talking about everything. It stacks up. Check, nice. Check out the Pancake Pod with these hands. <laughs> with these, I bet you can't pull up the Pancake Pod right now. Um, with these hands, I cannot pull up the Pancake Pod. Um, I got my pick of player of the game. I'm going to go with Bryson Tiller. I've got the same pick. I do not. But I love Bryson Tiller a lot, and I know he probably will be the player of the game. I'm just hyped that Hype had such a great game coming off the bench. I think he's – everyone, we know Bryson Tiller is going to play well. We know Big Josh is going to have a great game. Ja'Kai always brings the energy. With seven guys on the team, you need some guys off the bench. Our guy Hype and Parker Robinson did that, and I, I think they're the X factors. I think what's more exciting than player of the game yeah. is that Day is wrong again on another pick. What I'm are you never, talking about? I, I, no, no, I, he, he picked no. Reapers. You're wrong. I picked Reapers. Yeah, I'm, I picked I'm Reapers. Wrong. Oh, so you're, I was I'm about wrong. to tap you <laughs> up on it. I'm wrong. Okay. My guy, okay. Sniper okay. Jones. Okay. Okay. To listen, be fair, I'm always right. I got a little too eager. Listen, got listen. A little too eager. Listen, listen, chat. If you want to know what's really going on here, you're a good fan. I had a bet with Sniper on the first round of the NBA playoffs last year. As my don't, Knicks don't bring beat his up, Cavs, and he was so confident going into it. Oh, man. And now he's just trying to slander my, my ball knowledge I've been at for, every chance I've been waiting get. for get back every moment, yeah, and I still haven't got it. not going to be tonight. Hey, Luke Wilkinson, shout out to you, man. I've never seen someone write in the chat that many times. Dylan Mason, also good. Jalax is the guy who told me that I suck, and now he's still hating on us. Jalax, relax, man. I love you so much. We should send you a T-shirt. Um, we should give some more people some t-shirts in the second game. I think that's something we should do. Absolutely. Don't be mean to Tom. He's a great guy. We're winding down. Make sure to stick with us for the next game. Is Kai Howard. Everyone's.
Everyone's in double figures. I was just about total. to say that. They're almost the entire team is in double figures right now. The, these things are, they're, these red hands are leaking red dust on me, and I look, I look stupid now. This looks stupid. I'm taking them off. Um, bunch of things in the chat here. Reminder, guys, we got another game coming up right after this. YNG Dreamers versus RWE. Honestly, maybe my favorite matchup of the season. Which, uh, popular team in RWE, popular players in Eli and Isaac should be a good one. We'll close it out. And that will do it. The City Reapers have a phenomenal second half, and they win this one 86 to 71. They were down six at half and win by 15. A dominant second half by Ja Jackson and Bryson Tiller, our player of the game. 17, nine and five for Bryson. 50% from three, 40% from the field. Added on two blocks. You just saw one of them right there. Just a great second half in particular for Bryson Tiller who really did it on both ends of the floor, Tom. I mean, man, looking at, at that stat line now, he was the player of the game, 100%. He had the cash app lockdown player of the game. He's the player of the game. I love the energy that he's come out with this season. The City Reapers, the number one seed, they're now three and one. They clear the shorthanded crew, and Bryson Tiller is the leader, 100%. When the City Reapers needed to get some easy baskets, they started going to Bryson in that second half, and he controlled the tempo. Bryson is down here right now with our very own Sniper Jones. Mr. Jones, take it away. Yo, I got Bryson with me right now. What was the difference that clicked? The first half was a little shaky. Second half, not only did you get to the line, but you made a lot of key baskets. Yeah, we just came out with the, like, the mentality to just dominate. Um, we went inside out, and we just started making buckets, and we just started building momentum. Now, you guys were super short-handed. Only seven people suited up, ready to play, and everybody stepped up from Jahari to hype. What does that mean going forward as a team? It means a lot, just knowing that you can trust one another on the team. Um, you know, I, we have each other's back. It is, it builds trust in the team. Last question, the power rankings have you guys at number one. Is that something y'all talk about? Is that something y'all proud about? Or do you not pay attention to the rankings and just play ball? Yeah, we, we really, we try not to pay attention too much because, you know, it's a lot of hype. Um, you know, it's a lot of things that kind of try to get us off track, but we just stay together as a team and try to win each game. Our player of the game, Bryson Tiller. Great job tonight, man. Back to you guys at the booth. Thank you, Sniper. Thank you, Bryson. That's your player of the game. 86-71 City Reapers is your final. A dominant second half led by Ja Jackson and Bryson Taylor for Sniper Jones for Overtime Time. I'm Alex, Overtime Day. Do not go anywhere. RWE versus YNG Dreamers coming up next. You're not going to want to miss that one. Peace.